Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the boxing four rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, trim with white weighing in. Nine stone, four and three quarter pounds, taking part in his 27th professional contest. He's from Warsaw. Please welcome Steve Gethin. And across the ring, fighting under the blue corner, wearing the white, green and gold trunks, weighing in at nine stone, four and a half pounds, undefeated as a professional, one contest, one win. Coming from Dublin, Ireland, please welcome Patrick Hayler. Time for the bell is Michael McCann, referee in charge of the action is Seamus Dunn. This is four three minute rounds. Ladies, my instructions, protect yourselves at all times, obey my instructions at all times, watch your heads and keep your punches up. You both understand? Shake hands, ladies, all the best. Round one then of this four round featherweight contest. Pat Highland in the white with the yellow and gold trim. Dublin, his opponent in the black, Steve Gethin from Walsall in the West Midlands of England. Oh, good right hand line. The only second or two from Highland, having only a second pro contest tonight. Made his pro debut in the September last year against Dean Ward and beat him on points over four rounds had him down a couple of times though so he's obviously got a little bit of a dig on him and he's unloading very quickly as well in this fight david mccauley and if, uh, if Henry keeps the pressure up here the way he's doing uh, i can see signs of him stopping this guy because uh, guessing he's one of these guys that's brought in to see how good you are he's a tester He's, uh, he's what you call in the game, a, a good journeyman. Right. And, uh, but the way Young Hennon's uh, progressing here right now, he looks like he can bang a bit. There's a bit of power in that left hook and a bit of power in that right hand. So uh, we just see tonight just really how good he is, well, how far up this ladder that he's going to travel. Yes, Gethin very much uh, a tester. He's uh, lost his last six fights. Had 26 fights in all, only won eight of them. But four of those eight victories have come by the short distance. So Highland mustn't get cocky. That's some, yeah. taking a lot of uh, a lot of stick in this opening session. Yeah, that was some real good body shots there by Highland, and he varied that then to the head too. He's got a good repertoire of punches. He goes to the body and to the head, which is a really good sign at this early stage in his career. And that's a good solid right hand when it lands on target. Good long reach. Good oh. body shot. That was a corking left hand right into the solar plexus. And it's unusual to see boys coming up from the amateur ranks throwing good body shots. They're not really encouraged to throw body shots in the amateur ranks. The amateur scoring doesn't encourage body shots. Clean one shots to the head. Those are the point scorers in amateur boxing. But bearing in mind this is only Highland's second pro fight. Looking very mature, David. Yeah, he, he looks like a seasoned pro. He's made the transition from, from amateurism to professionalism quite, quite well now. Because he looks like he's a guy that's been around. He looks like a guy that's had this, this is more than a second fight. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. You've got, you've got one boy having his second fight. You've got one boy having his 27th fight. And you really don't know which is which. For the record, though, it's Highland in the white who's having fight number two. We're near the end of this first three-minute session. Lively opener. Highland taking it, no question. Oh, that's a cracking right hand of the body there. Lovely stuff from Highland. So, back in Pat Highland's corner. Good stuff here from Highland. Good over. That came round, right round the corner, right and under the short rib. Good stuff from Highland. And it's good to see this young man very his punches to the body and to the head. Some nice stuff. Uh, he's a, what you call a good boxer fighter. He, he can mix it or he can stand back and he can give you a boxing lesson also. He's a good prospect, this young man. I was going to say, on the evidence of three minutes, it's dangerous to start forming opinions, but 
I like what I see so far. Looks good. I wonder if he's going to be the latest in the seemingly endless conveyor belt. Cool. The finals coming out of Ireland. Like yourself, Dave, like Barry McGuigan. I mean, there's so many fighters spend all night listing them. Round two. Round two. And the Irish love the fighters. Oh, <laughs> that's what we're renowned for. <laughs> we're fighting. But yes, you know, what I see right now, you know, it's good. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of these up, up and coming fighters and they're, they're starting off. They just don't show the promise that this young man's showing. Like he, he has it at the minute, he seems to have to have nearly all, but it's very early stages in his career, so we just can't get overexcited it just yet. So round two then. Pat Highland, Dublin in the white trunks. Steve Gethin from Walsall in the West Midlands of England. In the black. Right. And he's doing a good thing too, like uh, he's working his way in, he's not jumping in, you know, and, and uh, taking chances. He's working with that jab and, and working for his openings to bang that big right hand across. I like the way he's picking his shots, he's, 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 he's not wasting very much. Yeah, he's very economical with, with the shots that he throws, he doesn't waste much. The old, more or less, land on target. And Gethin proving a good test for him so far. Yeah, this is what this is what these up and coming fighters need, Dave. They need somebody to stand there and trade with them. There's no good fighting these guys are going to lie down if you give them a dirty look. You know, you have to get you have to, you have to test these young men, and this is a good test for Highland. Uh, don't get the idea that this is all one-way traffic because it isn't. Gethin getting through with one or two shots of his own. But so far, Highland dictating the pace, dictating the tactics. He's in the centre of that ring, and he's being the governor so far. Keeping Gethin on the end of that jab. Back Here comes Gethin trying to snake out a jab of his own. But you can see good, good upper body work from Highland. Yeah, at this stage in his career, like the second fight now, and there's plenty of lateral movement there. But that will get better as he progresses. Uh, he's a wee bit green at it, the minute, he's just rocking from side to side. There's a lot more work to be put into that, but at this moment in time, he's doing, he's doing everything everybody's uh, asking of. You know, he, he's, he's just like a young season pro here. Well, I'm impressed by the, the, by the body punches he's showing. And body punches, they, they sicken you and they weaken you. It, it's the cumulative effect of body shots that does the damage. Gets caught with a good left hand of his own there as he comes in this island. Gethin trapped in a neutral corner. Got to watch the heads. Yep, he has to be careful because uh, this guy Gethin, he's got loads of experience, this man, so therefore as you said, they've heard it on. It's not all one-way traffic, by no means. Gethin trudges back to his corner. Good stuff here from Helen. Good variation of punches, body and head. Some lovely uppercuts there. Good stuff. But uh, uh, Gethin replied with his own uh, good left hook to right hand. But really, look at that body shot right under the short rib there. That just saps your strength completely. I like the way he plants his feet and digs them in. Yeah, he gets far behind that. Your fitness is there, you've got no way back for man. What are you working on? Right, jab, 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 get them work. Boom, 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 let them go. Right? Not having it. Not having no more than man's out of fucking sitting there. Because if you back that, you've got another six months burning. They come and work. Round three. The third round then, remember this is a scheduled full round contest of featherweight Pat Highland from Dublin in the white, Steve Gethin from Walsall in the black. Seamus Dunn, the third man in the ring. Highland's fight so far. Got a guard against complacency, guard against carelessness, but this Gethin will hurt you if he catches you. Yeah, the, the Gethin, Gethin, at this stage in, uh, in Highland's career, that Gethin is a, is a serious threat here. You just can't uh, take him too lightly because 
this boy gave him, you know, he, he could win this fight. Right. He's got the experience right. and he's got a wee bit of power, you know, uh, to try and, and take uh, Highland out. So Highland just has to be very careful, keep the hands up and don't get over anxious. Don't be, look at that, that's a nice layup took there from, uh, from Gethin. You don't want to be taking too many punches like that because we know in this game that punches aren't vitamins. Well, that's it. Exactly, what we've got to do, and it's very easy for us sitting at ringside, is to sort of watch the guy who's making all the running, who is Highland. You mustn't forget what's coming back the other way. And there is stuff coming back from Gethin. You can just see it very clearly with your own eyes. So don't get the idea it's all one-way traffic. Highland's winning this, but Gethin is pushing him all the way. Gethin puts his head down, just bulldozes his, his way off the ropes. Highland still looking to come in, make the openings. You know, can he pro is Gethin? Yep, yeah, you're not catching with one short punch as it got, so you have to work combinations with this guy. He's a wee bit too shrewd, a wee bit too canny to be caught with a, with a big swinging right hook. And at times, you can just see Gethin's experience shows he'll wait for Highland to commit himself before countering. And that is pure ring craft, pure experience. Still there, the cleaner work is coming from young Pat Highland. Good left counter from Gethin. Yes, and he has a pretty solid defence, Dave. You know, he's taking a lot of these shots on the gloves and on the arms. And uh, young Pat Hen here, he, he's beginning to, not running out of ideas, but he's doing the same things all the time. You know, he's throwing down the left hooks, the right hand, the jabs. But he's, guess he's that, he's that canny and he's that shrewd. He's able to take this thing out, out of most of the punches. Well, that was just a little sign then that Highland is thinking, because he just, he just momentarily switched to Southpaw there, which just caused Gethin a moment to think. More even that round. <laughs> Some good stuff from, good, from both fighters again. What Heidelberg should be doing here, but this is an experience, just take one half step back and bang in a straight one-two, and it would catch Gethin bang on the money. But he, he's too close, and that's lack of an experience on his behalf, but he will learn as he goes along. Last round then, decent little featherweight scrap. Pat Highland and the white Steve Gethin in the flat. Fourth round or the last round, it's always when the both fighters are all done crazy. You think this was the first round? Because everybody thinks, oh, I can win this fight, I can win this fight. This is good stuff from Highland. Good body shots there. And a bit of power. You can, just, you can see him leaning over to the side and swinging that left hand round. Punching power and boxing gives all about getting your feet positioned properly. If your feet are too close, you have no power. If you can set your feet about a foot apart, you get loads of power. And that all comes with experience in the ring. Well, I don't think Highland has taken the backward step in this contest. Gets caught with a good right counter, though, from Gethin. Mustn't leave his chin hanging out. That would not be good for him. Gethin will certainly leave this ring. I don't think he's going to win, but he will certainly leave this ring with his head held high. Fought very well. Made Highland work. Highland, the Irish youngster, getting a little bit ragged now. Gethin still looking quite strong. A big swinging right, right up the there from, from Highland. Uh, sort of caught, half caught Gethin. You give a bit of a grin there, just to say, didn't catch me full on, but you caught me. Right. 
Now we're into the last half of the round. Round four, remember. Getting a little bit scrappy now. Both boys feeling the pace. Harland still trying to work that opening, still trying to work the angles. Gethin trying to lure him onto the counters. And undoubtedly Gethin doing much, much of his good work at close quarters. These are the sort of fights, dear, that uh, the young guys at Highland need. If, he guy, if these guys want to climb that ladder of fame, they need to be fighting guys that's going to fight them back and not guys that they can push over or blow over. The young Highland will learn and lose from this fight tonight. Well, absolutely, and this is the sort of fight that you just cannot get in the gym either. No, so you need this You need this in real life, you need it in the ring on fight night. There's no, good, there's no point in giving these guys cardboard cutouts that they can blow over. Give them somebody that's going to stand there and trade with them and right. give them a hard time. You're absolutely right. And that's exactly what Steve Geffen is doing. <laughs> Highland's got it. So, I don't think there was ever much doubt that Pat Highland was going to win. The only question really will be the margin of his victory on Seamus Dunn's scorecard. And we'll get that right now from our MC, John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, referee Seamus Dunn has scored this contest for Geffen 37 points, for Highland 40 points. He's still undefeated from Dublin. Your winner, Patrick. Highland. Well, I think Shane has got that very absolutely game box, as always. Steve Gesson. Points margin of 40-37. That means Highland took three rounds. One round was scored even. So Pat Highland, two fights, two wins.